removing the rear axle was relatively simple. I was taking everything off the car, uh, so the first thing to do was disconnect the brakes. Um, at this time, I think the petrol tank was out. The prop shaft was still connected to the axle. It was a question of undoing the U-bolts underneath the bracket, getting the U-bolts out and the bump stop, uh, and then the axle is free. We then lifted it over one of the springs and pushed it out with the prop shaft still attached across the floor of the garage. Hey, that's mm -hmm. good. Is it sitting on the jack now? No, it's... Uh, it is actually, because I'm not holding it up, so... Okay, so let okay, it down, hold... let it down to your side. I can't, because the... Let it, the jack. Yeah, let it down to your side. Carefully, then I'm going to push it to you. Okay. Now we need to drag it backwards. Back to you? Yeah, no, no, back back to the back of the car. Uh, Okay, so this is the rear hub. This is the passenger side, the right-hand side rear hub. Uh, I've already got the bearing out a little way, but I'll just show you how I did it. Um, took a pretty large washer. Uh, what is that? Let's see. measure that. That's like uh, an inch and three quarters uh, washer. I just happened to have. Actually, it was a washer that attached the wooden frame to the car. Uh, popped it on the reverse side, the side where the, the oil seal is. Popped it in there, got a large socket. This is a 27 millimeter. Um, just popped it in there, and I saw on one video it's really important that you don't just uh, bang this on a table or something because because then the the the, um, the studs could come out there. So just hold it in your hand um, with that socket there and the washer, and just give it a few taps, and lo and behold, the bearing comes out. Next thing to do is to get this oil seal out. So, I mean, the oil seal is just tearing apart. I guess the rub is really brittle.
but there we are, I think it's coming. seal is out and it is hard as a rock okay here are the rear hub bearings this one's been cleaned up just cleaned up with brake cleaner uh, and this one I've already packed with grease I'm ready for install in the hub. So basically, to, to pack the um, to pack the bearing with grease, uh, scoop out grease and fill up, and then press it through. So you can see it coming through. Just keep doing that until you can see grease coming right through the bearing, like that. Not in front of that video. <laughs> okay, where'd the bar go? Where'd my washer? Oh, there it is. I see now. Yeah. You're using the washer to keep it proud of the inner. So that it doesn't hit. Yeah. Bit, and then sure. let's just measure that. Uh, so we were measuring to what five yeah. five thousand? Well, what are we going to do if it's not if it's not five thousand? It's a little more than five thousand. It's probably more like six thousand. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know. The manual said one to four. What do you reckon? It's a bearing, Tim. <laughs> it's the same bearing that came out of there. That's uh, true. <laughs> so. Okay, fitting the brake back plate. The the back plates are handed. This is uh, right hand, so in our case the passenger side. And uh, the wheel cylinder goes here, and the diagram shows that uh, when the axle is positioned this way, uh, that is the back of the car, this is the front of the car, this is the front of the car. And then uh, and this should go right here. two tools to drift the hub into the axle tube. Uh, this one, initially, is just a simple uh, piece of steel with a shoulder on it. And we use this to knock down the hub a little way. And to get the hub drifted down all the way, we use this uh, plumbing coupler, one and a quarter inch. And this is wide enough to take the axle tube, so it can go over the threads. Are you ready? I'm ready. Got it centered? No. Let's hold on. There. You hear that? I think that's in, yeah.
back plate uh, can be a little tricky because of the hub, but uh, uh, it worked on the other side, but it took an awful lot of negotiation, as it were. Let's push that in. Almost through. There it is. Well, that was a little bit more difficult than the other side. But sometimes a hammer is the tool of choice. Wow, that's really close. Wow. So here we're going to tighten up the, the hub nut. This is the passenger side, so it's a normal thread. Here's a huge 1 and 7 8 socket. Uh, it's a three-quarter inch drive, but I've got a little adapter that will convert it into a one-inch uh, socket, hex socket. So I'm using that and the torque wrench. Now it's, uh, I think it's 150 pounds. This torque wrench goes up to 140, so I think that'll be fine, to be honest. And that's about as far as it's going to go without pulling it off the jacks. So I reckon that, uh, that hub nut is now tight. And then this little lock tab just has to be bent over. We'll do that in a second. Once that's done, the uh, half shaft can go in and we can put the brake drum on. So these later axles have a, an additional rubber ring here which provides additional sealing. So we're just going to pop that in all the way around. Huh, that doesn't fit very well. Doesn't fit very well at all. Oh dear. There we are, that's okay. Nice. Yep, there it is. So that's in. And then we're just going to put some permatex here, gasket sealant. When you put the paper gasket on, it's important to get the orientation right. There are, besides the four holes uh, for the wheel studs, there are three additional holes uh, here, here, uh, and here. And so we orientate the axle here. Let's see, this is it's up, and so this one's at the top. One, two, three, one, two, three, and then carefully ease it over the holes. Step is just to, to bend over this tab washer here. I'm just going to carefully ease that over just so I can get the the punch started. Let's see if we can do this. Next step, just going to put a little bit more of this stuff on, this gasket sealant. The whole point of this is to stop any axle oil or grease coming out um, in between the brake drum and the Break shoes and uh, ruining your day uh, with contaminated brakes. So I think that'll probably do it. Now, in a similar way, the half shaft has to be aligned as well. 
to make sure we know what we're talking about here. We've got we've got the hub with one screw, one screw, one screw. So um, looks like we are aligned. And so this has to go in here. Now the trick is to wiggle this around so it actually goes into the differential. This can be a little tricky. So. same time I can turn the pin in. I'm just trying to get the splines aligned with the differential there. Yeah. There. And we're in. Okay, and that's aligned with the hole. There we are. It's really going to be the wheel nuts that uh, that are going to hold this on, that way we can get that gasket sealing nicely. So here I've put the wheel nuts on just with some packing washers behind just to push the half shaft against the hub uh, to make sure that that uh, gasket seal uh, is, is pushed up tight. 